we have David here. This is going to be my first subject of a real human 3D scanning. Now I am getting weird shadows and light, so that might be an issue, but I'm seeing his face already. Target loss, uh, this is, okay, here we go. And I'm seeing, oh, this one is, here we go, I am, if you guys can see, I have already his face on the scanner. Dark objects like hair are harder to scan. For some reason, it is not going up to the hair. Now I'm in the front of the face, getting all the detail. I have been curious about how well it scans a, a real human. It does not want to go up to the hair. I think the hair is too dark. That's incredible, it's just struggling to capture the hair. But it's doing it slowly. I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, right. bandana stuff. I have no idea how, I guess my theory of it being a different color didn't really work. Because it is scanning the bandana, but it's not scanning the hair. So I think the hair is just a reflective version that doesn't work. But finally, I'm going to try and get a little bit of the shoulders. Because when I print this, I want it to like stay on the table. And it looks more of a bust if you have the shoulders. Okay. It's funny, like there's some hair poking through and it won't scan it. Okay, so I'm going to end it, and now we're going to see if this worked out. It's going to take about four days to print the sculpture, so hopefully it's going to turn out pretty well. We will see. Let's fast forward to the finished product. And here we have the final project. That's right. That is the scan of David. And I think it worked out fairly well. You can tell where the hair is. It did scan like chunks of the hair. That is the weakness. It seems that all of these 3D scanners have this weakness. They cannot scan hair. But the 3D printer does a fairly good job at smoothing things out. And I printed this at the highest quality. So the bandana worked great, but when I scanned David with just the hair, it simply did not want to scan the hair at all. So right here you just have these kind of weird lumps for the hair. But otherwise, it's a pretty cool little bust. I definitely like it. This box, I added it myself just so I could rest it on a table very easily. Otherwise, it would just kind of flop over. But that's a very classical thing to do anyway when you're sculpting. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.